Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, tonight on the C show, um, obviously tonight was week, um, the, the first week of NFL football, and we will be talking about that here tonight on the C show. <coughs> <coughs> that is what we will be talking tonight on the C show, the first week of the NFL. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Let's talk about the um the um what game should we start off talking with tonight? Let's talk about the um the game we just saw tonight, the Sunday night football game between the um the New York Giants and the Dallas Cowboys. Um this game was kind of boring to be honest with you. Um, Dallas, I thought they did not try 100%. I thought they played good enough to win the game because they knew, I think a lot of people knew that once they said that, um, once they said, once they said that Beckham was not playing in this game, the wide receiver for the New York, everybody, I think everybody knew that this is not going to be a good game. New York was not going to be able to get one on offense. And there was going to be a problem. And that's what happened in this game. And I think Dallas just... I think they could have played better. And it just seems to me like they... They knew that they, not, they did not have to go 100% in this game. Because how much New York would, would struggle and miss Beckham. And that is what happened. I feel like Dallas just... You know, they just did enough to win. What, was, what did they score? What, 19 points? You know, they, I think they can do better than that. You know, I thought they just did, did enough to win the game. Um, you know, Dak Prescott, you know, little short passes, whatever, you know, still has a problem with the long ball. Um, but, you know, first game, we'll see what happens. But I thought, you know, he did enough, you know, his little short passes. Um, you know, Zeke had himself, a, Ezekiel Elliott had himself a game, you know, a, you know, typical Dallas game, you know, run the ball. And, um, you know, as the game goes on, they, they, they get better running the ball. That's they wear the other team's defense down, kind of like a Floyd Mayweather fight. Um, typical Dallas team, you know, run the ball, run the ball, run the ball. And then on the last few minutes of the game, they run all over you because the defense is tired. Um, and New York, they just cannot get going at all, if you ask me. I knew it was going to be a problem. Once I saw that we're not going to have this man, I knew that we're not going to be able to get going. Beckham wants a new contract. He's trying to be the highest paid player in the NFL. And he might, I believe, what, Matthew Stafford is making $135 million. I believe that's the highest paid. And what we saw tonight was a team who I thought was going to go to the playoffs. If you remember a few days ago, I have them going to the playoffs and winning the, the NFC East. But man, oh man, oh man, the, 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 does this team suck without Beckham? Wow. Brendan Marshall was a no-show. Eli Man, I, I don't know if you forgot they signed them or what. But he Marshall was a no show tonight. Oh wow. McAdoo decided to get a new look. And maybe he while he was getting a new look, he maybe lost his playbook somewhere else. Because oh wow, that was terrible. That was terrible. Man, that was not the Giants that I think every, the New York Giants that everybody um remember remember from last year. Man, was that terrible. And we all knew that there was no half problems, but not like this. What, three points? 19 3 was the final score. The New York Giants are in trouble if, if this is what we're going to have. Ugh, wow. Anyways, I thought Dallas did enough to win the game, but I think Dallas could have played better if they had to. Anyways, ladies and, uh, anyways, ladies and gentlemen, let's, um, let's talk real fast here about the. Um, Let's go around the league here. Let's go around the league, ladies and gentlemen. Let's let, let, let's go around the league. Um, obviously, Kansas City beats New England on Thursday. We all know that. Um, let's see here. Um, Chicago, Atlanta beat Chicago. Closer game they should have been. Um, Baltimore beat Cincinnati. Cincinnati sucks ass. Um, for what I saw, well, good game right here. Pittsburgh beat Cleveland just by three points. Deshaun Kaiser had a great um, first game in the NFL. Congratulations, Deshaun Kaiser. Um, Detroit beats Arizona. Jacksonville beats the 
Jacksonville beats, beats the, they completely beat the Houston, man. This Tom Savage guy sucks. I don't know why they even put him in there. This was embarrassing for Houston. Oh my lord, what was it, 29 to 7? Absolutely embarrassing. I have no idea what the hell that coach is thinking. I understand Tom Savage is a rook, is a veteran, and Deshaun Watson is a um is a first year player. But damn, the talent's difference. Oh my lord, Savage sucks with Watson. And then that offensive line, they can't protect anybody, to be honest, too. They're going to have to tighten that up. They play already in like in three days for Thursday Night Football versus Cincinnati, I believe. So two shitty-ass teams. Well, two teams that had shitty-ass um, starts today will play tomorrow, Will play in a few days. But yes, Houston, it's Watson. Forget about Savage. Forget about him. It's Watson. <clears throat> it's Watson. Raiders beat Tennessee. LA beats that. LA Rams beat the hell out of Indianapolis. Scott Tolson sucks. Um, they should have, if they knew that um, Angel Luck was not going to be available to the start of the season, they should have gone out and signed somebody else. And I have a feeling Angel Luck, he may be out for a while, to be honest with you, because they have not said anything about him possibly playing next week either. Oh, my Lord. They are in trouble. They are in trouble if they do not get Andrew Luck back very soon. Scott Tossing sucks. Um, um, what else are we looking at here? Um, Carolina beat San Francisco. San Francisco sucks. Um, what else are we looking at here? Um... Green Bay beats Packers, beats Seattle Seahawks. That's the last one, I think. Um, you know, I watched this game, and I thought it looked bad, um, especially in the first half. Um, what was the final score? 3-0 at the first half. Terrible football. Then I thought it picked up in the second half. A lot of bad football today for, for some teams, to be honest with you. Um... But then, you know, Aaron Rodgers did decent. He threw for 311 yards, whatever. Um, Seattle, typical Seattle, gets up to his old starts. Um, nothing to worry about, to be honest with you. Um, I think they, they'll eventually get back on track. You know, they always get seem to get off to his old start um, the first few games of the season, and then eventually they get going. Um, is that all? Yeah, then you, we, you got New Orleans, Minnesota tomorrow, and then um, Charger versus Denver. Those are your two Monday night games. We already talked about the Cowboys. Um, so now it is time to talk about my team. My team. If you do not care about my Philadelphia Eagles, then I guess you can leave the video now. Let's talk about my team, my Philadelphia Eagles. All right. <sighs> So we get off to a hot start, seven to zero. Carson wins and scores a touchdown. Completely miss, makes the guy miss a few times, avoids a sack, and gets a touchdown to Nelson Aligar. Nelson Aligar sucks ass. I'm surprised he played really good tonight, actually. And um, then, like last year, we got a little bit of um, you know the uh, you know kind of like last year. Unconsistent, unconsistent from wins. Shows up. He does some nice stuff, but he also does some not so good stuff. Um, throws a pick six. Before you know, we're losing. Um, but then you know, I, I I thought he played good. Threw for three hundred and seven yards. I believe he was twenty five for thirty nine passing. Um, we didn't have a running game to be honest with you. Um, we were we. Look, like Garrett ran for like forty five yards. Like 13 touches, 45 yards. Um, oh, my Lord. Um, defense, our best cornerback is hurt. I think he broke his angle. They have not said yet. It's like a dislocated angle. But if it, if it if it's where it's too bad, he's going to be out for the season. Oh, my Lord. And our secondary just a plus the entire game. Other than Jenkins, we don't really have a secondary. Um, and if. 
I thought, kind of like last year, I'm consistent football, good and bad, batting good. You know, Carson wins. At times you're like, damn, this guy's, this guy's good. And other times you're like, what the hell is this guy doing? He kind of has like that Brett Favre thing where he he's kind of trying to make something out of nothing. <clears throat> he kind of has like that Brett Favre thing where he's, he's going to try to make something out of nothing. And um, sometimes you get it, sometimes you don't. Um, and then, you know, it's dangerous because at least Brett Favre couldn't move around and wasn't as big. So, you know, he couldn't make people miss like this guy. Think about this guy that when he makes you miss, you get scared because then he just starts running around in circles and then he just throws it off. And you're like, no, you don't know what the hell's going to happen. Now, tonight, it, for the most part, it worked out. But that scares me when he, he's about to get sacked, he shakes, and then he throws it like this. I'm like, what the hell are you doing, son? And then, he, you know, he completes the pass for a touchdown to Nelson Aligar. I'm like, okay. But still, it's very uh, – that, that scares me a little bit when he starts dancing around like that and gets flushed. Um, but um, whatever. Um, you know, I thought seeing that last year, very inconsistent Carson Wentz. Times good at times bad, but I'll take it. Like I said, um, he he did throw for 307 yards, 25 to 39 passing. I believe what was it, two touchdowns, one interception. He performed. He performed. That pick six, I believe it was tipped. It was caught by a lineman, so I don't know. I, that that ball must have been tipped by somebody. I have no idea. But yes, um, I compared to the two Washington games from last year, I thought we played much better this time around. Um, but yes, Carson Wentz, you know, he's a very inconsistent quarterback, at least right now. Hopefully, eventually, he can just start flashing a lot more good. Um, but yes, more like last year, I thought 307 yards, but at the same time, some mistakes, you know. I'm not going to lie, you know, if you have to pick, was he good or was he bad? He was good. You know, for the most part, like I said, 307 yards, you know. So he was good. But, yeah, it, that pick six. And then he he, he also threw a fumble, but it's not going to probably be on him. It's probably going to be on Spurls because he threw a, a, a backwards pass that Spurls dropped, but then it counted as a fumble. So we also lost the ball there. But that was more of Carson Wentz. He needs to know better. You can't be thrown behind the line. You need to know better unless you're completely 100% that the guy's going to catch the ball. So those were the two stupidest players he made. The, the, the pick six by the lineman and then the throwing behind Spurls and then Spurls drops the ball. Maybe he didn't, I don't think, I don't think Spurls was ready. I don't think he thought he was going to um, pass the ball to him. He was way behind the line of scrimmage and he completely dropped it and then it was, it was lost by Washington. I thought it was the stupidest play Carson Wentz made all day. He needs to be more focused. Sometimes I think he gets a little bit too um, fancy out there. When he starts shining, he can get a little bit fancy out there. Um, you know, he'll make one good he make one good crazy play where he, you know, spins, um, makes you miss a sack and completes a long pass. And then the next play he tries to get up even a little bit more fancy, and that's when he makes a mistake. He needs to understand that when he makes a, 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 a an amazing play, you know, like avoids a sack, gets flushed, runs and throws the ball, it gets catch, move on. Just play normal football. It seems when he does a fancy play, he wants to. He wants the next um, plays up. He once again wants to get, do another fancy play, and that's when he makes a mistake. Um, the great game, you know. I'm happy. One and zero. You know, we usually always start one and zero, but we'll see what happens. Um, but at least you know that we have to beat Washington in like I don't know how long, at least two years. So I'm happy that we um, we we were able to beat Washington. And like I said, so already better than last year when it comes to Washington. And um, yeah, it's one and zero next to Kansas City. I am scared for my for Kansas City. Trust me, you got the whole thing with Alex Smith. Apparently now he's throwing long balls, and then you got Andy Reid. You know, it, it's been five years, but still, I think he's the one to beat the Eagles. Um, Carson Wentz is pretty young compared to Alex Smith. That defense by Kansas City. I think we'll be losing our game next week. I, to be honest with you, I am not that confident in my Philadelphia Eagles next week. I did not see enough. It was thirty to seventeen tonight, but I did not see enough where I can say my Philadelphia Eagles are ready to win next week. I did not see enough to be honest with you. Um, but anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that's all I have to say for tonight. I thank you for watching this video. 
Um, long video. I get too excited for these football videos. Um, I, I, like I said, I, I try to talk about every team a little bit, but you cannot talk about every team. Um, you know, like I do, I, I think other than the, than the, um, then the Giants Cowboys game and then the Eagles Washington game. I thought I kind of just went through every game very fast, you know. So if I if I if I talk about every game, it would be we would be here for hours, and I feel like we've been here for hours already. Hopefully, you guys are not sleeping. Hopefully, you guys are still up. Yesterday, same thing. I apologize. I'm upset. I'm in minutes. I'm always trying to go low. <laughs> I don't know why I keep losing my voice. Um, but I'm always trying to go low, like 11 minutes or less. And last, last night I went 17 minutes. I apologize for... Oh, ladies and gentlemen. I apologize for that. But yes, I get a little bit too excited for these football videos. Football season is back. Let me know down below who your team is. Um, you know, what you think about your team. If they won, they lost. Biggest surprise of the day, probably Jacksonville winning 29th versus Houston. Houston has maybe a little bit more problems than we thought. That line cannot protect anybody. Even when Watson got in the game, that he can, you know, move around a little bit. He still struggle there. Um, so they play again in a few days versus Cincinnati, and that may be a problem because although Cincinnati looked pretty bad again towards the Baltimore, um, twenty zero. So we'll see what happens. Two teams that looked very bad today play get a chance to um, prove themselves in, um, in, in a few days. And uh, we'll be here in a few days to uh, preview every game, starting with that one. And um, I want to thank everybody for watching the CD show tonight. Um, I, I, I hope this video is not going to go as long. Um, hopefully, um, but if, if it does, I apologize. But, um, yeah, let me know down below if you're excited for football being back, because I am. And I apologize once again for this. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, until next time, I will see you all later. Shut up. Shut up. Oh, 17 minutes again. What the hell? And it's just like last night. I need to shut up. I really do. And all these sites can come up on the screen while I'm doing the show, too. Oh, my Lord. Ladies and gentlemen, I apologize for going over it. Once again, my goal is to try to do like 11 minutes. But anyway, I apologize to all of you. Um, I apologize if this is the first time you watch the show. Trust me, I knew when I... Usually I don't go this long. I don't know why. Um, that that one guy I'm trying to um, listen though.